Hello everyone. So today I'm going to discuss what is follicular study, how it is done, and it's going to be a small class actually. It is specially oriented for the doctors who are trying to do uh, the follicular study on their own, and the uh, basic concepts we'll be discussing so that it's helpful for the patient also. So first of all, what is follicular study? Basically, it is an ultrasound study which is done for all the infertile patients, okay, who are planning pregnancy. Okay, ideally, it should be done by the gynecologist herself or the infertility specialist herself or himself who is doing the infertility treatment. Okay, however, some radiologists can also do that, but it's best that the same person who is treating you should do this ultrasound. Okay, now how it is done is that it should start on the second day, on the second day of the periods. That is very important, even if you are trying naturally or if you are trying by IUI or you are trying with IVF. But the follicular study, the ultrasound study always starts from the second day itself. And then how it is taken to be. Uh, some tips and takes away I will be discussing during the whole uh, session. So, suppose the patient has come to you, she is 28, uh, 28 years female, her LMP is 18th March suppose. Okay, And it, we always write the cycle who have a track of how many cycles the patient has taken. And we will write how if she is taking any IUI also. But in this case, the patient was trying only for naturally. So, this is a small chart which we have at our center and we always uh, mention the date. So, we are starting the follicular study on 19th March, that will be the day 2 as I told. So, doing the scanning on day 2 is very important to confirm that there is no any cyst. Suppose any cyst is there. What is cyst? We know it's like a water bubble if it is more than 3 centimeters. If it is more than 3 centimeters, then it has to be confirmed that it is not functional. And we can confirm that by doing the estrogen level test, which should be less than 50 picograms. If it is a non-functional cyst, then it's not going to cause you problem and you can go ahead with a uh, full study. Now, after giving the ovulation induction, if, because in this case the patient is trying naturally, ovulation induction we usually give by the standard letrozole, which is given 2.5 mg once in a day. So for that, on 25th March, I have called her, that is the 8th day, 8th day of her study. And then you can see already 3 follicles are there, okay? And always the diameter average has to be taken. The biggest two diameters are taken or the average is taken. You can calculate it or even the machines can calculate it and give it for you. So, it is like 12, 13.5 and 11.5. Here, the endometrium is almost 4.5 mm. So, that's uh, okay because I am sure that after that because there are three good follicles, then because of the estrogen which is coming from them, the endometrium will grow uh, on its own only. With no, There is no need to supplement like uh, sildenafil. Now, coming to 28th March, that will be the day 11. So, on day 11, as a, we have continued the letrozole. We have continued and you can see now the three follicles are actually mature. 18.5, 19.5, one is still lagging, 14.14 mm, but two follicles for a natural pregnancy is good enough. The endometrium here was 6 mm, which is a very good thing because minimum is uh, 6 mm only. And uh, we, of course, will do the color Doppler. When we are uh, seeing a mature follicles and the endometrium is thick, then we'll see the color Doppler flow also. And finally, we uh, we can give the trigger on uh, this date uh, itself. Whether when you find the uh, follicles are mature, then you give the triggers. The standard triggers we know are five thousand hCG or ten thousand hCG. Sometimes some patients are failing to even ovulate with these two injections. Then we can give a dual trigger. So usually we give a dual trigger, especially for natural for uh, of course for IUI, but even sometimes naturally we give a uh, dual trigger only. Then 31st March, that is day 14, I have called her. So, after the trigger, after 36 hours, after 36 hours, the egg will ovulate. That is very important to understand because this is the time you will ask the couple to have natural intercourse. This is the time after 36 hours, if you are planning IUI, uh, IUI has to be done approximately 36 hours after the trigger injection has to be given. And then uh, after like 36 hours, because it's a natural one, so I called like one day late also is no problem. So, two corpus luteum was seen. Now, this is important because from day 14, you will start giving the patient progesterone or the luteal phase support. This is important. Now, these are actually some ultrasound images I have put. I, I'll try to explain it so that it's a little more clear. So, this is the endometrium you can see of the uterus. This is the follicles. This, uh, this is the right ovary actually, which is having its of day 2 image. So, you can see small follicles are there. Okay. So, doing an AFC count on the day 2 is very important. We all know that AMH can be done on any day irrespective of the cycle, but AFC is also very important and it should be done only on the uh, like beginning of the periods or before starting the ovulation treatment. So, day 2 is required. After that, now you can see the lining is becoming trilaminal. Okay, so three lines are there actually. 
you can see this so it's a trilaminar pattern and the, the endometrium is almost 5 mm you can see and this is a right ovary which has started forming few eggs you can see here okay so the as i told the average of who biggest diameters will be taken average of who biggest diameters is taken to calculate the follicle size and this is finally on the day 11 when we saw the endometrium is very good trilaminar this is a very good appearance and besides this, they, on the color droplet, I will show you the next image. We will see the vascularity also. Here you can see the follicles are also mature enough. Okay. You can see we will take the average of these two diameters. But always to confirm, we know that we always have to put the color doppler also. So this is a color doppler image. Why I am saying color doppler or power doppler actually? Power doppler is important to put because power doppler is uh, irrespective of the orientation of the probe on the abdomen. So it's uh, much better. And remember, it should always be done on the low scale. That is, PRF has to be 0.3. PRF has to be 0.3. And you can see the color doppler of this. Okay. And at least we say that yes, three fourth of this whole follicle, three fourth of each follicle uh, should have a good vascularity. And this is the time when we give the trigger to the patient. Okay, so this is what we saw on the day 11. This is the day 11 image. So after this, as we said, uh, calling the patient for uh, uh, confirming of corpus luteum is actually an optional because it won't going, it is not at all going to change the plan of treatment. So uh, the uh, the next visit is actually optional for it. But yes, after trigger, as I told, after 36 hours, starting of the progesterone or the luteal phase support is very important. So I hope this was interesting for you. Thank you so much.